it's important that they start solids around six months because their iron stores are depleted. And so they need to get iron from food uh, that's fortified. Uh, so usually it's red meats or it's rice cereal that's fortified with iron for their growth and development, for brain development as well. The other thing that it's important to start solids is because that's the beginning of being able to talk and speak. And so what you're finding is they're developing those muscles that are then going to go on to them with communication and communicating to you. Not only is it around six months that you're looking for, but you're going to get some cues. They're going to show a lot more interest in solids. They're actually going to be looking at what you're doing and how you're picking up the food, and they're going to be grabbing for that. They're also going to be able to sit up. They're going to have a little bit more ability to hold themselves in position. So if you were to give them something, they'd probably put it straight in their mouth. So when you're first introducing solids to your baby, you'd be offering the breast or the formula milk before the solids. And say about half an hour later, you'd introduce some, um, some solids. So whether or not it be the rice cereal you start or a veggie that you start or fruit, you'd probably be giving them about a tablespoon, just letting them trial that. So letting them put it to their mouth, they may do some tongue thrust. You might find they're not quite ready, but they may take it. When you see that they're taking their solids well, then you look to introduce other meals. Now timing for the day, it's what works both well for you so that you're not hurried. So if that happens to be the morning or lunch or in the evening, that's okay. So what you're looking forward to see that your baby's finished with the solids is they're actually closing their mouth, they're showing disinterest. So they might be looking away, they might not be looking at you anymore, they might be doing everything and fussing as well and pushing the food away. Remember if your baby is pushing the food away, don't force it on them because it doesn't make a pleasant experience for anyone, for yourself or for your baby. So you want food to be enjoyable right from the beginning. The things to avoid are whole nuts because they may get lodged in the airways and um, the other thing is honey and raw eggs. It's okay to offer them custards and yogurts, so that's a really good thing to start with, but you're not looking at giving them a drink of cow's milk instead of their formula or breast milk until after 12 months of age. I think the most important thing is that it should be fun and it is about learning so don't think they're going to get it straight away and don't be worried about that. It is about enjoying food and loving it. And the other thing is just being mindful of the fact that you shouldn't leave your child alone while they're eating. Sometimes we get overconfident with our child and we think we can walk away but don't do that. Stay with them.